franchise changing day. And you know what? There's been a couple of them since Steve Cohen has taken over as the Mets owner, but landing this plane, landing Max Scherzer to come to the Mets. There looks like an opt out after two years is some of the new details that are coming to light now. At least uh, Joel Sherman had that, but three year deals, $130 million, 43.3 million a year. And man, the Mets, they needed this. They really, really did. And they had made some really nice signings uh, over the weekend. Definitely made some nice signings, some good pieces, starting pieces, and some depth pieces, too. They're trending in the right direction. This is in a different level. Putting Max Scherzer and Jacob deGrom atop of your rotation, one, two, that is a game changer for the Mets. And, you know, Moose, this is not going to be a young team. This is going to be a veteran team. This is going to be a no doubt about it win now team because you don't throw that kind of money at Max Scherzer to wait around and twiddle your thumbs. This is changes the complexity. We thought last year with the Lindor trade and then subsequent signing and Carrasco coming also that that was going to be enough. It's not. It's not enough. The Mets needed a lot more. They're addressing that in this offseason before this potential lockout happens in the next couple days. The Mets said they were going to be aggressive. They are being aggressive. They landed Max freaking Scherzer when nobody thought that was possible. Mets fans, have yourself a day because this represents just like a new trajectory for this team. And you know what? A couple weeks ago, I was hard on Met, on the Mets, Moose. We were both hard on the Mets because it was like the rudderless ship. Like, where are they going? Why can't they fill these roles? Another person turns them down for this, that, the other. They have no manager, and they landed Max Scherzer. It's a great day. It's Overcoming a, yeah. any kind of perceived deficiencies, doing that by tapping into your biggest resource, which is Steve Cohen's money, turned Max Scherzer's head. I can't wait to hear some of the details about how this whole thing went down. Yeah, it money seems plays. Like it money happened plays. pretty fast. I mean, it does, and that's where it plays in the open market. So, you know, whether it was a ticked-off Cohen or whether, you know, getting turned down by Gaussman, they went out there and went all in on Scherzer and, you know, convinced Max Scherzer to come here to New York and the Mets to be the destination. You know, you mentioned the opt-out after two years. They're paying them on average $43 million per year. Uh, they put their money where their mouth is, and now you have a combination. If you're a Met fan, it's a. I mean, there's no other. If you're a, if you're going to look at this as a negative move, you're going to be a Debbie Downer. I don't care about the uh, financials of Major League Baseball, and don't have the. I, I see people saying, "Well, how are you paying Max Scherzer forty three? Who the hell cares? I mean, this is why you have the richest singular owner in all the Major League Baseball. That's why it gets it becomes a comedy of errors. If if I'm rooting for an organization. Where one where one signing affects another, then I can understand the contracts and looking at contracts. I've got the richest owner in all of Major League Baseball. If you're a Met fan, you could care less what Max Scherzer's making, what Starling Marte is making, what Jacob Degrom, or if I have to go out there and renegotiate a deal with Jacob Degrom, it's not your money. And Cohen is the richest singular owner in all of Major League Baseball, and this is how it plays. This is what the Dodgers have done. This is what the Yankees have done in the past. This is what the Red Sox have done in the past. This is what other major market teams have done. And as it stands right now with you know the defections of Scherzer and Kershaw and probably Seager out in Los Angeles, the Mets payroll stands right now once this deal becomes official at $265 million. The Mets payroll right now, once this becomes official, will be the highest payroll in all of Major League Baseball. And I get Cohen the feeling they're, about, not, they're not fully done. Cohen talked about obliterating, go, running right past the luxury tax threshold. Well, he's done that. Today's a day to rejoice. Met fans, I mean, this is it. I mean, this is heaven. You just got added Max Scherzer. You added one of the best pitchers, an all-time great in Scherzer. A guy that's finished top five in Cy Young voting eight different times over the course of his career. Including last year. Eight different times. 2.46 ERA last year. Has been a gamer. Wants to take the ball. Doesn't care about rest. Will come out of the bullpen. All of these things. And now he's paired up with Jacob DeGrom. Brilliant. Garden City. Brad, what's going on, Brad? Hey, so guys, I have two things to say. First off, my friend Frank, unfortunately, his uh, dog passed away last night. So champ, rest in peace. With that being said, Frank is a Mets fan just like myself. And I'll be honest with you, on Thursday night, I was like, all right, maybe Gossman, maybe Ray, maybe Rodon. But Scherzer was out of my league, I thought. I thought there was no way. He didn't want to come here. But Uncle Stevie does it. <laughs> and he signed four great guys to fill this team. And he's not done. How about this? That's what's amazing Brad, about it. nobody is out of the Mets league anymore. Maggie, I love it. 
I love it, and we're allowed to be happy today. <laughs> yes. We're allowed to be, be happy. happy today. Celebrate. Sure. If you're not going to be happy today, when are you going to be happy? Allowed Today's to be a happy. day. And if you are going to, like, let's call what it is. If it's an overpay, you overpay for the cream of the crop. Right. You don't overpay for, you know, a guy who's coming off a career year, but you're not really sure the rest of the resume doesn't hold up. You're paying for right now with Max Scherzer. You're paying for 2022, 2023. Like this, this is the moment. If you're going to overpay, overpay at the top of the market. And the thing is about rich owners, is there even such a thing as overpay? How about, oh, Hector. Hector. What's up, Hector? (laughs) What is up? What it's like days it? like this I, that I think about fans like you, Hector, and I'm just like smiling ear to ear because I know how much this means to you. I'm smiling ear to ear. And guess what, guys? You know, guys don't have to sell me on this like you did, Lindor. I know this guy. I know this guy. Uh-huh. And even though I got Yankee fan friends trying to hate right now, talking about he had a dead arm. Oh, my goodness, for love. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear that. Now. This is like Show no signs of breaking down. Better on because they wanted to push him on short rest. Whatever, man. This is a move. This is a big move. This is a statement. This is the kind of stuff. Yeah, I need it. I think one of you guys said that Max needed this. No, no, no. I need it. Fans base, we needed this because it's been, as I said, it's been LOL Mets. Well, it's been LOL Mets for a lot of my life, but it's also been LOL Mets for the last couple of weeks because of all the strikeouts with the front office hires. And it was like, where are they going? What are they doing? But this 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 wallpaper's over all of it, right. you know? And you know, as, as Mets fans, we're pessimistic by nature, right? So I've been waiting for this billionaire owner. Where's the billionaire owner? Where's he going to show? When is he going to make a difference? Well, here's the difference right now. And I get, now i got to shut up and just enjoy it. Oh, <laughs> enjoy it. I mean, well, I, I thought I mean, he showed Hector. it with the Lindor deal. I mean, he get, did give $341 million yeah. to a shortstop. Like, it's, Cohen's been spending money. This is a different type of thing, though, right? Well, this because- is like this is going into a marketplace where you were the uh, where you were not the front runner, and you and you were able to to get in, give him all the money that he was looking for, overpay, which is fine, uh, and give him a you know a historic offer and convince him that this is the right spot for you to be. And Scherzer said, "Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the 130 over three years with the opt out after two. I'll take the full no trade clause. All of those things." And he convinced them with what a lot of teams convince a lot of players with money. I mean, that, that is it. I mean, because there's no history of winning here in New York. It's not a matter of that this is his dream spot. He's not going to bring out a you know a, a poster board like Garrett Cole did and said <laughs> this is my dream to pitch out at City Field. And I grew up watching the Mets at Shea Stadium. No, it's none of that. But that's fine. It doesn't need to be. It's not fair. It's not a Disney movie. We're not making a movie. What you do is you added one of the upper echelon pitchers in all of Major League Baseball, one of the best right-handed starters you've ever laid two eyes on in recent MLB history. That is what's been added to this Mets starting rotation. That's what Scherzer is. Even at 37, it is a win-now move, but your best pitcher in DeGrom is a win-now pitcher. That is in his 30s. This goes part and parcel with that. Now, the Mets aren't going to be done. They've spent a lot of money the past couple days. What, in the neighborhood of... $275 $275 million once this deal becomes official. 254 I guess. Well, they spent 124 over the course of the weekend. Yep, so, one day. I mean, 254 they've spent over the last, you know, 96 hours. Give Cohen a lot of credit. This is what having the richest owner in all of baseball, baseball means. The hired guns. Hired yes, guns. It's awesome. We'll take it. We'll Mark take the it. day down. November the 29th. Max Scherzer is a Met. It is a done deal. This is the best holiday present that a Mets fan could ask for. 877-337-6666. We've got an update and then more of you, the Mets fan, today reacting to the big news about Max Scherzer. Don't move.